This lesson is section 6.6, .6, how to determine the length of a diagonal of a rectangular prism. Now that you've become experts at using the Pythagorean theorem, we're going to kick it up a notch and bring it into the third dimension. Okay, let's take care of some of our notes. We definitely need you to write into your notebook the formula for calculating the length of a diagonal of a rectangular prism. Now, I'd make sure that you put that title in your notes so you know what this formula represents. The formula itself is d squared is equal to l squared, that represents the length of the rectangular prism squared, I'm using a cursive L, so nobody mistakes my L for a 1. Plus W squared, which represents the width of the rectangular prism squared, plus H squared. And H represents the height of our rectangular prism. Now in our formula, D represents the diagonal of the figure. Our diagonal is going to look like this. Notice that the diagonal in a 3D figure goes from one side, the left or the right, to the other side and goes from the front of the figure to the back or vice versa. Please pause the video at this time and write down the steps to how to use this formula. Once you've got those in your notes, we'll come back and work out an example together. Okay, now that your steps are in your notes, let's do an example together. Please make a sketch of this figure in your notes. If you need to pause the video to do that, please do. Once your sketch is drawn, let's follow the steps. Our first step is write the formula. d squared is equal to length squared plus width squared plus height squared. Step two, substitute the known values into your formula. Well, we don't know d, so d is going to stay d squared. The length of our rectangular prism is 14 centimeters, so in place of l squared, we'll write 14 squared. Plus the width squared, that's going to be 8 squared, plus the height squared, which is 9 squared. Our third step is to square the terms. We still don't know d, so I'm going to rewrite that as d squared. 14 squared is 196, plus 8 squared, which is 64, plus 9 squared, which is 81. Our next step is to total up our terms, so we still don't know d. d squared is equal to, and if I add 196 plus 64 plus 81, I get 341. Our last step is to find the square root of the total. So d squared is going to be equal to, I'm sorry, the square root of d squared is equal to the square root of 341. And I'm just going to scoot up here with my answer. And the square root of 341 will be the length of our diameter. And that turns out to be 18.466. I'm going to round that to the tenths place and say that's going to equal 18.5 centimeters. Okay, let's do one more example together. Okay, please pause the video and make a sketch of this rectangular prism in your notebook and label it example two. Once you've got that sketch completed, let's go ahead and follow our steps. Remember, step number one is to write our formula d squared equals l squared 
plus w squared plus h squared. Step two, let's substitute in the values that we know into our formula. We do not know the diagonal, so d squared is equal to length squared. Our length here is 6 plus width squared. That's going to be 4 squared. And our height is 10, so h squared will be 10 squared. Step 3 will be to square all of the terms that we can. Again, we don't know what d is, so that stays d squared. 6 squared is 36 plus 4 squared is 16, plus 10 squared is 100. Step 4 is to total up our terms. So if we add 36 plus 16 plus 100, we get 152. D then is going to be equal to the square root of 152. And when I punch that into my calculator and round to the tenths place, I get that our diameter is 12.3 inches. Alright, so that's how we find the length of a diagonal in a rectangular prism.